What's up, guys? How are you? So good, so good. How did the first day feel? Uh, so much fun, man. Awesome atmosphere out here at Grand Park. Uh, really grateful for the Colts putting it on. Everybody that came out, ton of good energy. Guys are fired up. Um, man, just really, really a lot of fun. What was it like for you just, I guess, being on a new team and, and kind of getting acclimated? Because you looked at it as like the veteran of the room, but you're new to this environment. So what was that like? No, absolutely, man. It's been great getting in. we got a bunch of good dudes on this team. Everybody seems like they're on the same page, wants to win, wants to get better, wants to get coached. So as long as we keep that attitude, try to get better every day, uh, I think we're going to have a great camp. Gardner, I know you didn't get a ton of spring work in with Michael Pittman, but now he's healthier. What have you noticed about him as a pass catcher? Man, super strong, super physical. Going to be a tough player for us. Going to try to get him a lot of catches. Um, really excited for Pitt, man. I think he's going to have a huge leadership role in that room and a uh, leadership you know, role in the offense. You've had to go against Shaq Leonard in games mm -hmm. on opposite sidelines. Is there just a presence that he has when he's on the field that even you can feel on the offense? 100%. Um, you know, a lot of linebackers you feel like you can kind of pick on in coverage or you, know, you can assume that they're going to be where they're supposed to be. He doesn't have to. He can play how he plays, and he gets in the way so much. And in the past game, he's really a difference maker. Um, so, man, it's going to be so much fun practicing against him. That's, like, the best work you can get, really. When you went down to Miami with the quarterbacks, receivers, what did you get out of that for the most part? Man, I thought it was just, uh, you know, first just, you know, building more chemistry, you know, hanging out, you know, learning football, but also outside of it, you know, we're able to hang out, uh, get together. Uh, also, just kind of refresh on the plays and everything. You know, that's something new offense. You know, went through OTAs, but then you got a little time off. I think it was great to kind of refresh, and I think it showed today. You know, I think we were pretty sharp mentally um, coming out here. Have you seen uh, Anthony just attack the mental side of it? He was saying that's, that's his biggest hurdle right now is just mm -hmm. grasping the offense and feeling like he's more comfortable. Now. Yeah, I think the best thing he does is ask questions. You know, he's always trying to learn, always trying to get better, always trying to understand. You know. Um, so it's been a lot of fun working with him, Sam, and everybody in our room. Uh, you know, everybody's just trying to get better. And you've been through your fair share of training camps, but this is your first one with the Colts. What are you hoping to prove over this next month? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just trying to get better every day, being as consistent as possible, you know, taking completions when they're there, making the shots when we got them, learning how to operate in the offense even better, you know, getting us in and out of the right plays, out of the wrong plays, that type of deal. Um, and then just building camaraderie with these guys, getting everybody believing that we're about to go out and do something special. You guys, you know, for, for a lot of these guys, the scheme is, is pretty new, obviously, even though there's some similarity. Um, what does it take to play with confidence in that scheme? Are, are you guys there yet? The rest of the, the new guys? Yeah, I think, you know, I think one, it's everybody has to be locked in on their job. You know, everybody has to know it. You know, I think without that, you can't have much trust. You know, but I think if you build trust, you know where guys are supposed to be. They know where you're going to be with the ball. Um, and I think that's something we're going to build, and it, it's even gotten better since, you know, we started in the spring. And I think we just stay on this pace, get better every day. We're going to be right where we want to be. You mentioned that you, you asked, uh, Anthony asked a lot of questions in the room, all the quarterbacks do. Is there something that you're trying to instill in a new guy like Anthony Richardson, the biggest piece of advice for him? Um, I don't know. I think when you come in the league, you know, just the work habits are different. The workload is different. How you have to study, how you have to take care of your body how you have to talk to other people and get them going, you know? So just trying to help him share my experience that I have. I don't know everything, you know, but I want to help, you know what I'm saying? And he's doing a great job of asking and wanting to get better. And I think in our room, we have such a great energy and willingness to learn. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Gordon, how do you find that balance between, because Chris Bowser yesterday, you want to be treated like you're the guy. You want to be out there. You want to start, obviously. So how do you find that balance between like being super competitive, but also, being, I guess, from my perspective, uncharacteristically nice to the guy you're competing yeah. against. I'll tell you, for me, competitiveness isn't wanting him to be bad so I can be good. I want him to be great so I have to be even better. And that's how I think you have to see it is I don't want an easy competition. I want it as hard as possible. I want him to be so freaking good that I have to bring my level that much higher. Um, so I think, you know, we're all going to keep pushing each other. Um, but at the end of the day, we're all just trying to win. Carter, do, you, last one. do you view yourself as a starter? Uh, I don't know. I'm taking the first team reps right now. We're going to split it up. Um, you know, I think when I'm out there, I try to lead the offense the best I can. Uh, you know, so whether that's game one, whether that's in the fourth quarter of preseason two, I don't care. Whether it's out there at practice, I'm going to just try to lead the group I'm with as best as I can.